Shea Bear 1000 here. Today we're gonna, we've got a Santa Claus here. We've got a bunch of junk that was getting ready to be thrown in the trash. And we're gonna make something out of this Santa Claus we bought at um, Walmart. Bet you guys didn't know Fugitive was actually Santa Claus, did you? Stick around. Okay, so I got the Santa Claus. I was going to put him in the boat and make it look like he was driving a boat, but I didn't realize he was so small. So I came up with another idea. Now this thing is 20 bucks at Walmart, 1985. Everyday low prices, right? Well, I mean, nothing to hold the arms in, as you just saw. And the legs, when you put the legs on, um, they don't stay in. They've got these holes that are similar to this up in here. I, I don't like doing that, but, and right here. So I had to use zip ties to tie it together because it didn't come with any zip ties. So, um, so I had to do that and but anyway it's supposed to be indoor outdoor he does light up but his stance i don't know see he's got ski poles i don't know if these are supposed to be skis or skates okay so if they're skates why has he got ski poles right and if they're skis why is he in a skating stance I know splitting hairs but it doesn't make sense to me that kind of stuff really lingers on me for some reason they're so short you would think they're they're skates but so anyway I know one of my haters is gonna say it's twenty dollars what do you expect it's like the uh, I got a comment yesterday I think it was it said uh, they commented about the uh, the grinder that I did a review on. It's forty dollars. You get what you pay for. Well, if that was the case, I took that back and bought a twenty dollar electric one instead of the battery powered one, and it's still working fine. I use it all the time. So if that was the case, I get what I pay for. Shouldn't have. Shouldn't the battery powered one have been twice as good as the electric one? See, people need to think about that stuff before they start hating on me because I think things through, and that's why I feel about it. For 40 bucks, I wanted to do what it said it would do on the box, and it didn't. Well, that's just for touching up stuff around the house. Uh, if, if you got one of them, you're going to be more than just touching up stuff around the house, okay? You know, you're going to be grinding, you're going to be doing that stuff. It, it just you know for 40 bucks the electric one for 20 bucks is working fine if it lasts me a year I'm good with that so my way of thinking is if you get what you pay for and I got a decent one for twenty dollars why how come the battery powered one that's forty dollars isn't doubly as good I don't know so anyway I've got got this left over these are the rear legs part of the neck I think there they're kind of on a hinge okay so I got I got this here I saved this off the reindeer <coughs> excuse me I also saved this off the reindeer I cut it off this piece is what this spins around and this is what make would make the head go up and down that little arm there, that little crank. So I'm gonna figure out a way to hook this up to the Santa Claus. I may stick this in the ground, 
hook this up to the Santa Claus somehow and make the Santa Claus go like this kinda like he's skiing or skating or whatever but you know what I mean he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna now be animated hopefully so I'm gonna bring you over here where we're gonna put him up I'm gonna put him up right over here about where the deer was not as far out though um, and then I've got another idea about how to cover some stuff up so let's go ahead and let's get started on this sorry about the wind guys I'm trying to talk loud but not too loud so let's um, let's get everything over here see what we can do with this thing okay guys so the first thing I'm gonna do I'll take these uh, these screws I got here I'm just gonna stick these in the ground to help keep him from falling over But they got to be loose enough for him to pivot on. So, get these in here. Now he can pivot. Now I got to figure out how I'm going to make him do that. Okay, so this is probably going to stick down in the ground. I may have to straighten this or cut it off. Um, so, I've got something crawling on my neck. I've got this piece of rod that I'm going to be, that I'm going to be putting around around this and hooking it onto his back. But i got to find out so right here is about the farthest it's going to come back and then I got to figure out where the farthest it is you know what I mean to go that way it's not that hard to do because the other piece is not that's not going to be long enough okay so I've got some zip ties over here if I need them and the Santa Claus is going to plug into this and this of course is going to plug into the extension cord okay so let me all right uh i'm gonna go ahead and straighten this or cut it off or something it's pretty sturdy i can get straightened a little bit there we go that should be there we go that should do it. I can run my rod up here or down here, wherever I need to run it. So let me go turn, let me get this plugged in and turn that on so we can see exactly how far we have to, uh, how long we have to make our rod. Okay guys, it's only been a minute or so. I've got this bent like that and I've got this bent like that this there's a, a rod back here and I'm going to squeeze that I'm going to put that into that rod like that then I'm going to squeeze this together maybe So it doesn't pull out this thing's pretty slow but so was the deer so right all right now we're gonna hook him up to our thing I've got to put a, a cotter pin in there and a little washer so this doesn't you know slip off there but let's plug him in try him out here one
okay pretty good I got to do some adjusting and I'll be back with you all I'm going to do is pull this out of the ground and move it a little bit okay guys I think I got it adjusted just about right we're going to plug him in so he lights up and then and he's not lit oh okay I got to plug this in okay and uh see how he does there he goes first let's get his arms on okay I've got his arm right here and you can't really see these things they should be painted white or silver or something Now, let's see what happens. There he goes. <coughs> of course, we'll see what he looks like after dark. Cool. All right, so he's working, guys. So I've got an idea to cover up some of this stuff. I'm not sure about this thing yet. So let me go get my stuff, and I'll show you what I'm going to do around him. Okay, guys, there we go. He's moving now. I know you can see that stuff in the back there. That's okay. And the lights on the back, the white lights, they do not work because these are lights I was going to throw away and I thought I'm sure I can use them for something so that's why I put them in the back every time right insurance calls um, so that's why I put them in the back so the white light the white lights are supposed to like simulate snow and he's like skiing or skating or whatever um, if I had another little Christmas tree I would put over top of that thing in the back but I think it'll be fine after dark it'll look okay you know I'm not entering a contest but I thought you know I had that piece because I was gonna save it that the motor right there that piece I was gonna save it anyway and then when we got that Santa Claus, I was like, well, he's too, he's too little to put in a boat. So I thought, hmm, I'm going to make him animated. So we made him animated. <laughs> so let's let it get dark. We'll come back out, check him out, and see how he does. And, um, yeah, he, he, he jerks a little bit, but so, does, so, so do the deer. If you watch the deer closely, they'll jerk. Um, it'll be fine I think so I'm gonna let it run until dark time and then we'll see see what he looks like then I think it'll be all right so I'm gonna speed you up and we're gonna watch him for a minute we'll speed you up a couple times Right, guys so we're gonna wait on it to get dark I'm holding my tripod on the boat I kind of turned him that way so he's kind of like greeting monkey when she pulls in the driveway isn't that pretty cool so anyway guys let's let it get dark and we'll come out I'm not gonna mess with him I'm just gonna make sure he's gonna be all right he don't fall over or anything um, he shouldn't because I got a big old spike down in there so he should be okay all right I'll see you guys when it gets dark okay guys here he is done some tweaking I forgot to tell you but you probably noticed I moved the the motor from this side of him to the other side of him but he's been out here for a few hours now 
just going back and forth so yeah I think he'll be all right I don't know if the camera's picking up how good he's moving but he is moving pretty good he's still a little jerky but you know it's all right see right there he jerked but that's okay there he is so thanks for joining me guys i appreciate it thanks for watching thanks for all your comments hope everyone has a merry christmas stay tuned for more videos and uh i said in my last video that i'm tentatively planning for saturday to take my overnighter camp out so uh We'll do a little fishing. I'm gonna try out my uh, my new hatchet that Brian and Marla sent me, and I'm going to try out my hammock that I had set up one time, but I've never got to sleep in it. So hopefully, you know, it should be fun. Uh, as long as monkey's feeling, feeling well, then I will go ahead and do that. So, all right, guys. Again, thanks for watching, appreciate it. Shea Bear, the myth, the mare. <laughs> The myth, the man, the legend. <laughs> I'm gone for now. Merry Christmas, everyone. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye and take care.